I've been thinking about the difference between purpose and expectation. Hi, I'm Bo Sebastian. I am your peace coach today and sometimes your stress coach on other days. What if you started off the day to make money, for example, then you got in your car, had a flat tire, and when you finally got to work, your boss sent you home because the power was off and wouldn't be back on until the next day. What then? Did you have a bad day? Think about that. If your expectation is quite possibly something that is unattainable, then you could very much create anxiety in the same place as your purpose. Purpose is good, right? If your expectation is as simple as just showing up on time and you got every red light, got stuck in a traffic jam and then had a flat tire two miles away in a torrential storm, what then? Are you going to have an anxiety attack? You have to remind yourself of one very important fact every day, probably 10 times a day. Choose your purpose carefully and make sure it's not an expectation. Because if you choose an expectation instead of a doable purpose, you're setting yourself up for failure. Well then, what should your purpose include? Make your purpose include peace. Make your purpose include joy, love, to change people's lives. Make your purpose be your best you every day. Do you see the difference? Listen, finding peace, meditating, releasing stress is exactly why I've created the technique of zeroing out. Here are a few people who have experienced this process and who have read the book, listen to their stories. Life can get really busy taking care of my home, two careers and my family um, when your mind can't seem to get quiet to rest. That's when you need to use zeroing out. I never thought I could quiet my mind in only three minutes. Zeroing out works. I highly recommend Zeroing Out by Bo Sebastian. It's been very helpful for me and it's helped me navigate through difficult times. It's just a great book. Everyone should get it. I tried the Zeroing Out technique and I have to say it was surprisingly effective and very simple. Um, on those days I'm going 90 to nothing and I just need to slow my brain down for a minute um, to get back on track. This really has helped me to do that. Life gets hectic and sometimes I just don't take the time to clear my mind, especially right after work. The zeroing out method helps me to leave my work at work so I have a clear mind for the people at home I love. I've been dealing with clutter in my mind for a long time now. Zeroing out, stop stress in three minutes has completely cured me. Now I can meditate get quiet, and I'm even sleeping better. I can't believe how much zeroing out has helped me reduce stress. You've got to try it. Work for me can get time consuming and stressful at times, but zeroing out has really changed the way I look at my schedule and my time. Now I can leave my work at work and I have more time and peace of mind to deal with the people that I care the most about.